Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. This is your brother in Islam, brother Osama. And this is your other brother in Islam, brother Wajid. We just basically wanted to summarize what Valentine's Day truly is. Roses are red, violets are blue. Celebrating Valentine's is what non-Muslims do. Shaitan is present between the intimate too. So remember, all Muslims, this is day is wrong for you. So, what do we call Valentine's Day? Listen. Vulgar actions leading to empoisoned, non-existent traditions into nations exploiting sins on a specific day in order to abolish the youth. February 14th, also called Valentine's Day, and is it just another way of committing shit? I urge you all to just sit down and have a think. These words I speak are true, so let me drop it down to you. The day you commit the filthy act of zina, the day brothers and sisters increase in their fitna, and do we really not think all is seen by Allah? Are these really the days that will grant us Jannah? Valentine's, a day of love, as some seem to say. It's more like a predator chasing after its prey. The youth desperately searching for their suitable match, waiting for that one night stand ready to dispatch, is regarded as a day full of love and tranquility. Cupid releases the arrow and BANG! Love is your only ability. You show affection to your so called true love, who you believe has fallen from the skies above. But is this really the true meaning of love? To love someone once in a year? Is that even love? To me, it's quite unclear. Pampering them with presents and gifts. Working extra hard, even a few added shifts. Let me explain. Life has its occasional push and shove. But true love is that boxing gloves. They protect you from the outside, yet keep you warm and safe from the inside. True love is something you shall never experience on Valentine's. Do you know why? Because at the end of the day you shall pay the fines for indulging in illicit relations for the fake loving sensations. These are the sort of expectations of the shaitan's temptations. Don't you see why I'm saying don't get involved? Come please, let's get this issue resolved. I love for my ahi what I love for myself. Don't you see, I'm just trying to look out for your health. I'm just trying to look out for your akhirah. And I don't want to see you burning in the gates of hell. To see you burn and suffer for a girl who isn't your wife. A real man offers you marriage so he doesn't destroy your life. The only thing your relationship will get you is a first class trip to Jahannam. Am I not getting this message through to you that this deed is haram? But don't get me wrong, it's nice to get the other half gifts, but in the spirit of Valentine's isn't good. The meaning of love has been wrongly misunderstood. Many Muslims fall into this trap believing it's a pleasant gesture. I don't blame them, they must feel the external pressure. But that's not a valid excuse on the day of judgment. Trust me, this isn't a misjudgment. Some even feel left out if their loved ones haven't bought them a gift on this day. In all honesty, if they truly loved you, they would buy you a gift each and every day. And if you're lasting then I suggest you fast cause you don't want to be the last to enter paradise. The girl you see you may think she's looking nice but don't take the risk and let the dice roll cause who'll know where the dice will get you to move cause forget about the girl, think about the reward you're about to lose. The festival of love was one of the festivals of the pagan Romans. More than 17 centuries ago when paganism was the prevalent religion of the Romans. It's quite a weird and disturbing notion. Youngsters dazed, intoxicated by the witch's potion. We all love attention in every dimension, whether it be by girlfriend or boyfriend. We just want to be loved. Loved by someone who actually cares, not the ones who desire haram affairs. Love the creator, not the creation, to set yourself a firm foundation and keep safe from flirtation. That's all Valentine's has to offer. Think. Will flowers bring you happiness? Will cards bring you happiness? Will gifts bring you happiness? No. Attachment to your one true creator will bring you true happiness. You write her a card, it touches her heart so hard. Fake feelings instigate. It's a dangerous cycle which needs to be stopped before it's too late. We only get one shot at life. Let it be one worth the struggle. Make the most of your time. Did you know when committing zina, your iman's out of your body? So imagine leaving this dunya when your iman is not with you.